Hi, I'm Joe Namath, and you're watching Press Pass TV. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Press Pass TV. I'm Andrea Fasano. Thanks for joining us. In this next story, get to know hockey legend and former coach Al Arbor as he relives the glory days, taking the reins of the New York Islanders one more time. I know Billy. How are you, Billy? Good. Hey, that is, I was coaching when you were playing for Jersey. Absolutely. Yeah, there's a few other guys that are not very busy here. You know, I only know three players on, on the club, basically. Simon started uh, when I was at the end of coaching my career, and Garen was playing for the Jersey Devils, and the Sunderman was playing for Detroit at the time. He, he just celebrated his 1,000th game the other night. Uh, I know those guys a little bit, and they're all great players, and I certainly hope that they help me and lead their help very much. We, we just want to say thanks for, uh, you know, for doing this for us and for uh, participating. It's, uh, it's a big honor and a big thrill for us to uh, be playing for you tonight. You, you've done more than any, you know, anybody for this organization, and uh, we're going uh, to try to get you a big one. Very good, thank you. Not every day you get to play for a guy like that, and uh, you know, I mean, a, a legend in the game of hockey, and uh, you know, somebody who's, who's accomplished as, as much as Al. So it was a big thrill for all of us. Look, I know that uh, I'm here as a main and butt for you guys, but uh, there's a good just and on. You've done a great job with the team, with the players. Uh, you do what you're told, and we'll be all set tonight. I mean, I know they're a good team, but we're a better team. Guys come to play every shift, and that's all you want. Everybody get their best, and all set. Have fun. Remember that. If you're young, enjoy it. Take good care. 1,500 game means a lot. Well, I really didn't know how many games I had coached uh, previously, and uh, when they asked, when the, the owner asked me, I didn't really know because I had to make sure that the coach knew about this, and I talked to him, and he's the one that uh, talked me into coming over to coach that game, and it. Uh, it's a very good gesture on his part for him to, to, to let me coach behind the bench and, uh, the, and we, hopefully we win that game. Well, I know since I've been here, it's been very, very busy. We've been, uh, the telephone's been ringing off the wall and I did a number of interviews and yesterday was a very busy day and this morning's a busy day and I got to go back and all the kids have come in from all over the place and a lot of the relatives are here. So it's, uh, you don't have much time to do anything. And I got to go and see Ted Nolan now to find out what I'm going to do behind the bench tonight. So uh, that'll be very interesting. I tell you, they're big and strong and they can really skate. Uh, they look good this morning. Hopefully they'll look good tonight. I realized after the game and I saw the, you know, all the guys out there and, and the ceremony that how, you know, how special this game really was. And definitely we enjoyed uh, you know, a lot of it being here, you know, whole day and, and in the morning and now for a game and talking to us, it was really special. Uh, Teddy's got them uh, playing the right way and uh, they're, they're a type of team that they don't go by name, they go by effort and character and each and every player gives their very best at all, all times, so that's, that's very, very important. I think the game has changed dramatically since I played and uh, I don't think you can go with any of that. Uh, uh, tonight and let them play the way they're used to playing and that's the way that's the best way to go I think. Well, I haven't really prepared that much because uh, you know when you get up there in age you're not really you don't have the stamina like you used to and I started and I only last about 10 minutes and I falter so we'll find out this evening. What are you really looking forward to tonight? Well I'm looking forward to a victory let's put it that way I don't care what it is I know they're a very good club but uh, we have a good team also so uh, we'll do our very best we'll be ready for everything. I don't know any of these. Seven, two, four, over the board. The August team, the August West. For me, it's going to be very touching tonight to see all the fans here and a lot of the friends that I know. And uh, I think it's going to be very, very, very special and very touching to me, and I hope I can handle it. I was very nervous when I first walked out and I saw all the people in the building and uh, the cheers and everything else, it really gets to you. The first five minutes, you know, you're, you can't really concentrate on anything because uh, the fans and everything else, uh, the showing that they showed to me and to the players and that, 
It was overwhelming, and I finally got control of myself, and I was okay after that. You know, in the back of our minds, were you know, we knew every time you were coming back to the bench, you saw. Yeah, so a legend standing there, so we, we knew we have only one chance to win the game for him. So that's definitely, it's even more special to, to win this way and, you know, turning the game around in the third period and, and win the game for him. I think everything's falling into place, isn't it? Can't get any better now. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that story. For more behind the scenes action, you can check out our website at PressPass.tv or our YouTube page at YouTube.com slash PressPass. For everyone here at PressPass TV, I'm Andrea Fasano. See you next time.